my book buying at a minimum. But since it was my birthday last month, well in June, uh, I got a lot of coupons so I could buy a lot of books for free. So in the end, I did end up with big stacks. Um, the first book I'm going to talk about is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Rick. I bought this book because, I mean, it's so pretty. Um, it has these awesome, creepy pictures in them. So I thought, well, this book is going to be awesome. But in the end, I actually didn't like it that much. I did like it. It was a great book, but it wasn't as good as I was hoped it would be. Um, it's supposed to be a series, so I'm not sure how the second book is going to work out, but uh, I already wrote a review for this and I will add that link. So you can read that if you're interested in my opinion on this book. And it's spoiler free, so don't worry about that. Um, the second book I got was uh, Cinti by Sarah Waters. Um, Sarah Waters writes these awesome historical novels. And lately I've been feeling like I should read more historical books because paranormal is kind of wearing out on me. I mean, they're nice, but uh, sometimes you need to read. And historical ro uh, books do that for me. And it's about a woman that visits um, a prison where a spirit medium is locked up and they become friends and talk. And there's a whole lot of creepy stuff going on, and um, I'm about this far in, and so far it's been really good. The third book I got is Rapture by Lauren Kate. I read the first three books in her series. I didn't read the little collection of short stories, Fallen in Love, I think it's called. Um, yeah, I, I didn't like Passion at all. I, I gave it two out of five stars. I mean, that's not a good rating. I did like the first two. So I decided, oh well, I'll buy, buy the last book in the series. I have no clue how this one is ending. But I thought, well, I, st I got so far in the series. I, I don't feel like quitting the last book. So this one has a really weird texture of cover. I have no clue why it isn't just a normal um, glossy kind of cover. It's the international cover. But it's, it's, it's so pretty. Um, it's actually one of my favorite covers of books of all time. I think I actually wrote a cover review for it. Um, I'll add that link as well. Um, to um, satisfy my historical cravings, I also bought The Gallows Curse. I have no clue what it's about, but it says Gallows in the title. Sounds creepy, so I'm in. Um, I didn't even look up any reviews or something, I just took it with me. Um, I hope it's good. <laughs> I also bought the A Clash of Kings, which is the second book in the Song of Ice and Fire book, um, what is it, series. Um, actually, I haven't finished the Game of Thrones yet. I mean, these books are fat. They're huge. So, on Game of Thrones, I'm about at page 200, I think. And it's good. It's a good series. It's decent fantasy, but I haven't discovered yet why everyone thinks it's so amazing. So I hope to discover that too. And who knows? And the final book I got at a second-hand bookstore is War and Peace. Um, I kind of feel like I should read all the classics. I mean, who am I to say a book isn't good when I don't even have well, I haven't even read the most fundamental books in literature. So I tried Jane Austen, I read Dracula, I read Frankenstein. But I thought I should try this sometime. Yeah, it's scary. It's so creepy. And it has teeny tiny letters. Really, I'm showing you. It has teeny tiny letters. It has, um, I believe, over. Yeah. It has 14 
hundred pages with teeny tiny letters in by a Russian guy that liked to talk about farming and Russian politics. So I'm scared, I'm intimidated, but I'm going to give this a try. And I'll let you know how that will work out for me. So these are the books I got this month. Um I hope you enjoyed seeing them and I'll see you next time.